Okay, so we're going to start decorating. So here's our little folio. Open it up. And these first two pages where the magnets are, this is what we're going to be creating. They're going to be mirror images of each other. So with this one, what you're going to do is find this paper from the 12 by 12, this one. And you will be cutting a two inch high strip that's going to be down here, right there. So this is two inch, inches wide, and I believe it's six and three quarter inches long, but you make sure you get it right. I always don't wanna give exact uh, measurements because you get it so it fits. Mine is, this one is, is six and three quarters. This one's exactly six and three quarters right there. So six and three quarters, so you get that and you put that down. Then you're going to do this top piece. And from this one, what you're going to do is you are going to be putting this edge with the little orange dots on this side. You're gonna be putting it over to this side. And then you're going to be measuring over six and three quarters, which is going to be bringing you to this area right here. And you're going to be cutting somewhere right in. Th where is the, where is the, you're going to be cutting somewhere right in through here, right in through here. So you can actually see where I cut. So that's how this is going to lay out on this side. I, I ink the edges with black soot um, and then I put it down with tape. So I already have this side ready taped up. So I'm going to be putting that down here. Now your magnets, the way the magnets are placed, they should be out of the way. They're three quarters, about three quarters to one inch this direction up and in this direction in. Mine, I think, are three quarters of an inch up, three quarters of, of an inch in. So they shouldn't interfere with this. They're hidden under here, no problem. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this side. I'm going to be starting with this orange strip, this side over on this end, and then it will be around this part where I'm going to be cutting for this side because I want these two edges to be the same. So they are facing each other and they're going to be the same. Probably no big deal, but I like that line. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. I have just a little bit of black um, paper, uh, not black paper, of uh, this showing. So it's going to be like this. And then this one is going to be like this. And I will be cutting it so there's just a little bit of that black showing. And this, on this side, it was about six and seven eighths going down in this direction. Not quite seven inches going down in this direction. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this paper, get it taped up and inked, and then I will be back. So I just wanted to show you my paper once I cut it. So here's the edges, just kind of with the black soot around it on the corner there. So this, this side, the blue side, is going to, it's more blue than the little dotted orange ones. Open this up too. It's easier to put the paper down. So that is going to go, this edge is going over here. So that's going to be sitting like that. 
and I'm going to go ahead and put that down, pull my tape and put that down, and then I'll be right back. So this is how the two pages look. So when you open it up, this is what you're going to see. Probably going to put something down in here, but we'll get to that at the end. You do not want to put anything over here. You can put maybe something in the middle here if you want to, but basically you want to keep this free because this is where our magnets are. You don't want to put anything that's going to inhibit those mag magnets um, catching. Okay, so now we're going to be doing the inside front cover right here. So what you're going to be cutting is two pockets. So the bottom pocket is going to be measuring seven and five eighths, seven and five eighths by four and three quarters, seven and five eighths by four and three quarters. And you're going to score it at half an inch. I'm not sure why I can't find my camera. <laughs> score it at half an inch on the sides and at the long bottom and the sides. Go ahead and if you're gonna be using tape, apply your tape. Um, if you're not gonna be using tape, go ahead and miter your corners up here and down here. And if you're using the tape, go ahead and miter your corners down here down the corner and at the top of the pocket. So get that piece ready. And the top pocket is seven and five eighths by two and a quarter. You're only going to be scoring the two sides here, not the bottom, half an inch each. So go ahead and get your, your pockets ready and we'll put them in. So I have my pockets mitered And the, the top of the pocket. The way they're supposed to work is this little pocket has no bottom so it's supposed to fit right inside this top pocket and of course mine doesn't quite fit inside so if that happens and if you cut them exactly the same it probably will happen um, just mark off a little tick here. You got a quarter of an inch tick here up from the bottom, quarter inch tick here from the bottom, and I put a quarter inch tick right in the middle. I drew a, oh my gosh, where's my paper? I drew a line to connect all those tick marks. At those quarter inch, you're just barely going to cut it in a little bit to give you the ability to slide your pocket in, if you need it. If your pocket slides in without that, that's, that's great. So I'm just going to just do a little cut right there, and then just a little cut right there like that. And then this should be able to slide in. And the half in the the quarter mark line tells me where to line it up so I have it nice and straight. So then that's what you're going to that's what you're going to do make sure it fits in there it's not bun, bunching up and, and then you're going to fix this bottom pocket obviously to to the bottom here's here's our score our the edge of our seam right there you're going to fix this to the bottom here with just a little bit of reveal 
all the way around. It's hard to see black on black. Once that's done, you're remember, always affix this bottom part first and then use your scotch tape so you don't have anything hitting this lip down here. So I'm going to go fix the bottom and then add my scotch tape and do my sides and then slip this guy in. So I fixed the bottom flap, add my score tape, and now I'm just going to pull these sides. Then you're just going to slip this pocket in. Line up your pencil mark so it's straight. And then make sure the edges line up here and here. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull these and then I'll be right back after I pull them. So I have my pieces cut. So for the bottom page, this is going to be six and a half inches wide by four and an eighth inches deep and be mindful when you're cutting the paper the direction of these little guys um probably don't want them going like this you want them either going up pointing up or pointing down like the shingles of a roof i think for this one am i going to be pointing up or pointing down doesn't really matter i think with this one i'm going to be pointing down and the next pocket is going to be the same. It's six and a half inches in this direction. And this one, since the pocket's only two inches, I'm, I'm, you can probably get away with two and a half. I'm just making it three and a half. And then that's going to tuck in there like that. You can't see this one. And then this page obviously is six and a half inches long and I just made mine it doesn't have to be this long I just want it, it to go all the way down so it's kind of going over those edges of the half inch um, pocket edge so that way when you put stuff in it never hits those half inch little portions here if that makes any sense so mine is going to go in like this and there's there's going to be our pocket like that so this is six and a half inches wide and i made mine i don't even know how long i made it about eight and just a little over eight and a half. So essentially eight and a half. So I'm going to, I've already got my tape on. I'm going to apply each of these with tape and then we'll be done with the pockets. We still need to decorate them, but we'll be done with this pocket page. 